Every game group has one, the person in charge of learning the rules and explaining the game to others. Even before our Legendary Tactics channel, I have been saddled with this responsibility. So I feel uniquely qualified to offer my top 10 tips on how to learn a new board game well enough to teach it, here on Legendary Tactics. When we buy a new game, we crack open the box, take in that new game smell, and begin to anticipate the fun that is to be had. The only obstacle to this fun appears to be what is normally the first thing we see after the cloud of new game smell has dissipated, the rule book. And this is normally tossed aside as we dig down to find the components, punch out the counters, and check out the map board. And I understand why the rulebook is so quickly and easily dismissed, as it just reeks of learning and possibly even studying. Who wants to do that? After all, we just bought a cool new game. The problem is that all those nice components, counters, and map boards are more or less useless without that rulebook. You're just going to have to dig in at some point, and so I want to give you 10 tips on how to learn a game quickly and well. My first tip is that you have to change your mindset. Most people see the rules as drudgery, of plowing through walls of text, usually divided into paragraphs like Rule 1.2.3.7, with lots of exceptions that need to be taken into account. While there are some rules like that, especially some of the more complex Avalon Hill games of yesteryear, rule books have come a long way since then. The rules are part of the gaming experience. You're not going to get around it, so you might as well choose to enjoy it. View it with a sense of discovery as the game mechanics gradually come to light. It's almost as though you're blasting away sand in an archaeological dig. Some rulebooks are written really well and are actually quite funny sometimes. Make sure you start out with a positive mindset that you are actually going to enjoy going through the rulebook. That's going to color your experience going forward and affect the tips that I'm going to give you. Tip number two is to read the rules with the components right in front of you. I have been guilty many times of scanning the rulebook without the game nearby, but the reality is that you will learn the game much faster when you can see the cards and counters in front of you. This allows you to immediately reference pieces that the rulebook is talking about and creates a back and forth between the rules and the components that helps you absorb the rules of the game more quickly. Tip number three is to understand how most rulebooks are laid out. In simple terms, the opening will be a little bit about the theme of the game, followed by a list explaining the components, counters, and board. After that, you'll get an overview of the core mechanics of the game, which will gradually branch out to specific instances and exceptions as the rulebook goes on. Without question, the trickier parts of the rules will come up towards the end of the rulebook. It helps to know that going in so that you can begin to work with the core concepts first before worrying about the more detailed stuff that comes later. By standing on the shoulders of giants, all human endeavor progresses, and that is the same with board games. There's not a lot new under the sun, and innovation is always welcome and encouraged, but a lot of times one can understand the game one is now learning in the context of games one has played in the past. Is this game featuring area control? Worker placement? Does it have a bidding or auction mechanic? What games have you played that have used a similar mechanic? It's not unlike how we classify music, saying a band has been influenced heavily by, say, Matchbox 20, but with a sprinkling of Beethoven and a pinch of Slipknot or something like that. If you know how other games work, it will help accelerate your learning of a new one. I hope these tips are proving useful to you so far. If they are, please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe down below, as it really helps our channel. Every time you learn a new game, you're going to come across a part of the rules that, on its face, doesn't make sense. The rest of these tips are going to help you getting past that. The first is to simply make note of the rules that seem confusing. When I was back in school, I always wrote down the things that I was having trouble remembering or that weren't sinking in. Then, when I reviewed the material, I didn't have to waste time on stuff I already had a handle on. You can do the same thing with game rules. I understand you might be reluctant to highlight, write on, or otherwise deface your rulebook, so have a piece of paper handy to jot down the rules that don't seem intuitive. This way, when you are reviewing the rules, you will know where you need to focus your time and attention. Next, if you have been learning the game with the components in front of you, set up a game situation where you can put the confusing rule to work. Game it out and see if it begins to make more sense that way. 
We are so fortunate to live at a time when we have the internet, and not only because we can watch amazing board game channels on YouTube. The resources that we have at our fingertips are just amazing. Odds are, if you have a rules question, someone else has probably asked it. Go to the game publisher's website and see if they have an FAQ. Or use the resource we all know and love, BoardGameGeek.com. A lot of times, you can just ask the question in your web browser and a Board Game Geek page will come up to help you clarify how the rule is supposed to work. And oftentimes, it is the designer that is doing the clarifying. You can't do better than that. I know there is always the option of house ruling a rule that is unclear, but if you're a rules lawyer like me, you want to get it right. So go to the source to get an authoritative ruling and clarification. If you're still having trouble understanding a rule, I find it's often good to take a step back and ask yourself, why? What is the purpose behind this particular rule? A lot of times, if I can discern what the rule is trying to do, it can help greatly in understanding how the rule might be trying to accomplish that end. Once you feel that you have the rules more or less together in your mind, the next thing to do is to set up the game and play a few turns solo to try it out. Take your time with this, as you may have to play different factions at the same time. The important thing is not to make the best move every time, as it's unlikely you will know what that is at this point in your experience with a game. The important part is to get a sense of the flow of the game, the progression of the different phases of the turn, and how everything fits together. Then, at that point, you should be ready to teach the game to your gaming group. Don't try to read a rule book for the first time in front of them. I've done this, and it's not fun or comfortable. Take the time in advance of gaming night to do it right, and all of you can get going with the game much faster and easier. The last tip I have for you is what I call pulling levers and pushing buttons. Ultimately, you will not get a full sense of the game just by reading the rule book and playing a couple of turns. Many games, especially the complex ones, will require multiple plays before you can get really good at it. So what I mean by pulling levers and pushing buttons is to just try stuff. Most of your moves are going to be suboptimal when you're learning a game anyway, so experiment. See what works well and what doesn't. This is the phase of learning a game which many people consider to be the most fun. You have the rules under your belt and now it's just about trying to figure out the most efficient and optimal way to play. And then it's up to you as to how far you go from there. So there you are, 10 tips on how to learn a board game for the first time. If you have any other tips on learning games that I may have overlooked, please take a moment to put them in the comments below. And while you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. This is Legendary Tactics.